Guys, preseason week three is over. And now we have three weeks of football to go off of for over whose stock is up and over and whose stock is down and in the tank. So obviously, a lot of players did not play last night. I mean, it was interesting. Joe Mixon didn't play. Obviously, Travion Williams, he's still dealing with an ankle injury. But even Chris Evans did not play last night. So we had a lot of starters slash fringe players we have talked about who did not play. So starting off right away for the quarterback, Trevor Simeon, he actually looked good. He wasn't great or fantastic, but he was serviceable and he was good. Jake Browning only played a little bit. He played the first part of the game. He was 6-for-6 six six with a touchdown. Two great passes to Yoshi on the sideline. One for a touchdown. It is what it is. He got this backup job. He's won the backup job. It is his job to lose. And he did everything he could possibly do. As we see through three weeks. Week one, okay, he got a red. His stock was down. But then after that, two weeks back-to-back. -back, stock way up. Looking great. Feeling great. He's a W. Reed Sinet played, I give him, oh, by the way, yeah, red means stock down, yellow means stock is the same, and green means stock up, obviously. But anyway, though, yes, Reed Sinet, eh, he wasn't anything special last night. All right, so for running backs, they all got the same, kind of stayed where they were before. We actually got to see Jacob Sayers and Calvin Tyler Jr. actually get some carries. But again, they were really just special teams guys. And even when they got carries, they really weren't good against this commander's defense. Now you could say, well, that's because the offensive line was literally all out uh, last night. But again, like I said, it's one of the situations where he didn't do anything special. I'm not going to say his stock is up based on the, his factors around him. Chase Brown, also same concept. I think he led the team in rushing, but still nothing crazy special. All right, Trent Irwin did not play last night. That's another guy that was out that I guess, you know, we thought was going to play, but he might have gotten that roster spot as the fifth receiver. Oh, fourth receiver. Fifth receiver would be Andre or Yoshi, and sixth would be, of course, Chuck Sizzle, or you could vice versa nonetheless. So we already know, based on what we saw last night, yeah, Andre, Yoshi, is going to get that spot. He's going to get the fifth or sixth receiver spot. And same thing with Chuck Sizzle. So now it comes down to will the Bengals keep a seventh receiver? And yes, Cedric Jackson had another stock up moment. He was wide open for a 30 yard touchdown. So I, I, I find it so hard to really give him that much credit for the play because it was just a blown coverage. And it was a good pass by uh, Trevor Simeon for the touchdown. I see that Trevor Simeon. Who was that? Reed Sinet, who had the touchdown. My bad. Um, but yeah, other than that, though, come on. He was wide open. He was wide open. He had 20 yards outside of that. But he has shown uh, this week and last week that he can be a really viable asset to this team. So I will definitely say uh, stock up could be that seventh receiver. We also have Morgan Stan Stanley Morgan, who didn't do anything last night. He could be that guy. And then Trent Taylor and then uh, Carter kind of stayed the same. Four tight ends. Uh, Mitchell Wilcox. Actually, he, I believe he did play. No, he did actually play. My bad. I actually got that incorrectly. He actually did play last night. And let me look up his stats to see what he did. He didn't do anything. That's why I thought, that's why I have him as listed didn't play. Because he did play, but he didn't have any targets, any receptions. He didn't do anything. But he did play, actually. Drew Sample did not play. Um, this was Mitchell Wilcox's first game out there since his injury. So, it is what it is. But, he's going to get a red. And everyone really got a red here except for Tanner Hudson. I could give Tanner Hudson a red because he dropped a wide open touchdown. But, he did actually have some pretty good catches outside of that. Four catches. Around 20, I think it was like 39 yards. He actually played pretty dang good. Offensive line, they played pretty mid. It's the only guy who messed up with Jackson Kirkland and Nate Gilliam. Um, we also saw Cole, Cody Ford last night did not play. That's another guy who's interesting that he didn't play. Especially because I would think they want to see as much play time as humanly possible from him. But it seems like they already seen what they want to see from him. So that was interesting. Defensive line, Miles Murphy played. He looked pretty good. 
Raymond Johnson the third. If he does not get a roster spot, I don't know what I don't know what else they're gonna do. Because he has played so good throughout all the preseason. Week one sack fumble, week two a sack, or half a sack, and then week three last night he had another sack. Another huge play in the game. Love to see it making huge plays left and right. Uh, absolutely monster. Cam Sample did not play last night. That's another guy that was really questionable that he did not play. Um, for a defensive line, D tackle, Josh didn't play last night. Everyone else played pretty good except for Zach Carter. Um, Dameek Davis. Davis is his name, okay? He did actually have a sack last night, which was really good. Um, linebacking core, pass rushing core, you want to call it. Uh, Owen Carney had a huge sack last night. Really great play. Jeff Gunner played pretty good. Obviously, Terrell Basham got cut. Kind of crazy how, you know, we picked him up and he did not play any of the preseason. And he literally has all gray spots here for not playing at all. Uh, Kim Davis Gaither did not play. And Jermaine Pratt did not play. Uh, Keandre Jones played okay. Um, Jalen Moody didn't do anything special. Um, for linebacking core, Marcus... Bailey played pretty good. Joe Bashy didn't do anything. Shaka Haywood and Tyler Murray. I gave them both, eh, their stock is the same. Tyler Murray did technically give up a touchdown in his zone, which is bad. But I, I don't really think he could have gotten over there fast enough. So I'm not going to really, you know, hit him hard for that. This is how bad the secondary was last night when it comes to people who did not play. We had three actual players on our defense last night. Like cornerbacks that actually played. Yeah. Sidney Jones didn't play. DJ Turner didn't play. Let me just double check the Sidney Jones one. Hang on. Let me just double check that one. Um, let me do Sidney Jones. And I just want to double check this. I don't think he... No, he didn't play. No. Okay, I was, I was just, I had to double check that for a second because I'm like, it, it's still outlandish for me to look at and say, we literally had three guys out there. So yeah, DJ Poison Ivy had some pretty good uh, game. Jalen Davis didn't do anything special. Um, George Allen, nah, good game. And overall, our secondary, Jordan Battle, played pretty mid. He did give up a touchdown in a big play. Wasn't really his fault. It was more Alan George's spot, but nonetheless, though. Tyson Anderson, good game. Larry Brooks, good game. Michael Thomas, good game. And Yorker. Now, also, Drew Christman played last night with Brad Robbins. Uh, they both look good. I'm going to give him green for both of them. But, guys, that is over. Oh, stock up, stock down for the preseason. See you guys next one. Peace out.